Hey y'all, it's that time again. Time to update some Zoo Primer on the MTG Salvation Forum. Uh, this will be um, sort of like a little introduction video to Big Zoo. Um, Big Zoo is not currently favored in the metagame, at least in my yearly update. It might be by the time you're watching this. But this is the um, idea of Big Zoo right now. Big Zoo, again, you want to have um, mana dorks. Your focus is on mana dorks and then late game threat haymakers. Uh, with that in mind, you don't want to run things like Collected Company because while Collected Company is a great, great card, it is a card that um, doesn't allow you to play things like Sarkons. Um, and that's what I, I wanted to, f to focus on. If you want to play Big Zoo, you're playing exactly what the name implies, a bigger version of Zoo. Um, sideboard here is pretty, pretty temporary, but you're doing things like, since you're running a lot of Mandorks, you can run Blood Moon very successfully along with Choke and whatnot. Uh, bonfire, you can pay a ton of mana for in order to get it to do what it needs to do. Uh, creep and corrosion, higher CMC spells that you can do in 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 um in big zoo, including like Edelon versus the uh, the usual canonist. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into a, a game. All right, win the die roll. This is definitely a keepable hand. We got a mana dork that goes right into a nether luckery. That is exactly what big zoo wants to do. Hopefully, we'll get another fetch land. Grab a temple garden with it. Be a little greedy. Now the advantage here with Big Zoo is if Noble Hierarch gets killed, that's perfectly fine. Because you can then just um you can then just do something off of it, like you can play a Tarmogoyf. Here, we're sort of immune to the um, Inquisition. You can get rid of a Tarmogoyf. We have a big Tarmogoyf that we can play. You can get rid of Night of the Rockery, which arguably would be the best card. We still have a big Tarmogoyf to play, and we can swing for at least one damage. Or we can put out this um, Stern Wildwood, tapped, and play out that Tarmogoyf. Now, the good thing about Noble Hierarch is it leads us to win Tarmogoyf Wars, so yeah, like there, he casted a Tarmogoyf, we can still beat the Tarmogoyf War. So he's not going to be able to block here. Next thing I want to do is cast Tarmogoyf again and then pass the turn. So I'm going to be leaning on these Path to Exiles to clean up the field now. Here you might have like a Quilligan's Command or something to kill off my, my Noble Hierarch. Again, it doesn't matter all that much. So he's leaving up. Um, he's leaving up his dude to block, but yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. We're just gonna go and swing for as much money as we can here. Again, having all this tons of mana is a little bit different than Zoo because you're big Zoo. So you can play things like Stirring Wildwood and be very aggressive with it. So we're at a pretty good place here. He'd have to kill off two to three creatures and or put out blockers while at one life. So he can't crack fetch lands either. Um, and if we draw a bolt, we win. I don't think there's any way out of this. I think he's just thinking about it. So pretty quick win. Um, it shows that Big Zoo can still be just as aggressive as Little Zoo. Um, but the difference is things like, um, like that, where I, I can, I can be a little bit more removal proof because my, my creatures are a bit stronger than normal zoos. Um, that's not to say it's better or worse than normal zoos, it's just to say that, uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's an advantage that it has over it. The unadvantage is that it is a little bit slower. 
Um, this was very fast, this was a very good hand, and I also got paired against just like a, a, a better hand to play against. Um, but if he was on the play and he was able to do more removal, then I might not have won that game. Alright, cool, yep. Finally, took a long while, but decided you had nothing, I guess. On the roll! Go first! Go first, everybody! Yes, keep pulling. This is just good zoo beat down. Alright, what do we got here? Probably want to get to four mana. I'll go with this first. And then yield till end of turn. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Inquisition. Hey, get rid of my Lexanon Smiter. Yeah, yeah, get rid of my Lexanon Smiter. Lexanon Smiter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toss it, toss it, toss it, toss it, toss it, toss it. Come on. You know you want to. You, uh, you're like, oh, Lexanon Smiter is going to be a problem down the road. I better, better get rid of that thing. Nope. Dramacus Command. It just stinks, because that's such a good card. It's such a good card. Alright. We'll do the old turn to attack for four. The old turn to attack for four. What is this from? Tempest? What what land is that from? Tempest? Urzas. Urzas. Close, kinda, not really. Alright, man. Go for the discard again. Come on. I know you got it. Do it. Do it. No, it's an extort. Oh, it's not discardy. I was really I was hoping. I was hoping. Alright. You've given me a reason to play... No, I don't like that. To play a Tarmogoyf. Go for the discard again, man. The reason I'm holding that is because, man, eh, I mean, it's basically doing the same amount of damage. One less. But this allows me to have one mana open in case I need to blow something up while simultaneously not letting him do any discard to me means I can hold my land. Sure. You've extorted me for one life. Alright, you will not extort me anymore. Because you don't have the mana to do that. But you can attack for one if you want. Let's go for another, uh... Yeah, Temple Garden seems like it. Go ahead. Swing for that one. It's got lifelink. I mean, it's a bat, right? So it should, but it doesn't, it doesn't have lifelink. It is a bat, though. Cool. Bolt. I like bolt. Um, Here I've got no reason not to uh, to go for um, my Luxon Smiter. And just swingy swings. If he tries to double block, I can bolt. Yeah, that's fine by me. I'm okay with that. A fine enough trade. 
board position, I've got more of it, so I don't really care at the end of the day. Four mana. That's an Obliviator. Oh, look at how good that thing is. That's funny. Oh, just out of nowhere. Destruction of my life. I think I still win, to be honest with you. Because... I'll still get in for at least, what, 3 plus 5 damage? And I could just sacrifice all my lands if he blocks, you know? I could also bolt his yeah that's the better play bolting his bat is the better play here that way if he blocks like this I still get in for more damage I'll just sacrifice lands I've got no problem with that access to stomping ground anymore but I do have access no I do have access to temple garden whatever so I'll just get rid of those just keep this yep there's the win easy peasy lemon squeezy there you have it there's your big zoo in a nutshell just put out Mandorks, start trying to put higher CMC out with giant big haymaker beats, and uh, beat them across the face with it. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to feed those animals.